the tree trimmers were able to get the man out of the truck where he ran away still wearing nothing but his bathing suit. Wait, so well, he didn't well, gain clothes. Yeah, you're not going to go into yeah. a tree trimmer truck and suddenly like have oh, like no. an outfit change. <laughs> Stick around, make a sound. There's more dumb people town. We want to thank our sponsor, Prize Picks. Guys, Prize Picks is the most fun we've had, winning up to 25 times our money this football season. All you have to do is select two or more players, pick more or less their projected stats, and place your entry. Go to prizepicks.com slash DPT and use the code DPT for a first deposit match of up to $100. That's prizepicks.com slash DPT. Use the code DPT for a first deposit match up to $100. Prize Picks. Daily fantasy sports made easy. <laughs> hey, Townies, welcome to another episode of Dumb, Dumb People Town. Town. Population you. Population Lapkus. Lauren Woo! Lapkus, welcome to the show. How are you? Hi, old friend. Good, I'm so excited Hi. to be here. Oh, my God. It's always fun. Oh, it's, like a it's always a good old time. Podcast superstar comes to join us and wow. help us sort out the dumb that has become <laughs> our world. Yeah. It's just so That's goddamn dumb. That's a good dumb. summation. Right? Yep. Wow. We love hanging with you. I remember going to Tig Nataro's birthday party and then just like making a beeline we and we just sat and hung out. Great chat. I loved it. We really did. We, we were, got into it. It was like every joyous. time we see you and like we were writing on this Kevin Hart, uh, Keenan Thompson end of the year thing for Peacock and yeah. we like in the room wrote this thing for her to do. We're like, she's going to come in and we're going to write this the way that it is, but like she's going to come in and just crush it. <laughs> one take and like everyone, I was blowing it almost. I had to like walk out Jay of the had to walk out of the studio. Laughing. One so take nice. just we're like, just, she's going to be playing a drunk girl giving a toast at a wedding. I'm like, this is success all the way through. And she laid down face down on the studio floor at the end and when they all cut, everyone clapped. I'm Aww. like, this is the first time all day that we've done That's that. Great. That's so nice. That and was so fun. Had you worked with Kevin before? Or no, no, that was my first time meeting him. So yeah. like, I feel like he didn't know who you were because no, yeah. he knows who very few people are. <laughs> uh, and I was like, you could tell because he's like running through so much stuff and he's worrying about his restaurant and this yeah. and that and the other thing. And I remember 50 other commercials he's yeah. shooting. But there was like a moment where like you could see he's like, like, oh, shit, this girl's mm -hmm. really oh, funny. That's nice. That moment that was like was fun real. for us to watch that's clicks. Cool, so, man. All right. Thank we're going to apply all of that to the dumb stories that we have. We've got one right here and then we'll talk about all the podcasts and stuff you're doing. Jay, let's hop Great. in. All right. I got a story. Sent in by Eric James Hitner. Thanks. Hitner. 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 I'm a hit member honors. of the hit, Hitner Honors right. program. <laughs> EJ, uh, here's the here's the. If headline. you go back in time, would you kill Hitner? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd kill his friend Hitner. Mm. Uh, him, uh, he's Hitner. All right, man barges into Fort Myers home while family eats dinner, claims he is a ghost. <laughs> Perfect. Oh my! Nothing could be scarier, actually. Right. First of all, <laughs> I would believe. I'm like, first of all, I don't know if he is or not. Right. <laughs> I've never had a ghost. Right. You have to question, yeah. like, you he might be. You're yeah. Like, if you're a ghost, though, would you need to barge in, or couldn't could you, you just barge in through we, a window? But, but we don't know. We don't. But also, I know this is Florida, but barging makes it feel so Midwestern. <laughs> yeah, it does. You barge in here. Yeah. yeah. It's like Talk an about angry, you're a ghost. Yes, it's like an angry boyfriend of your aunt. But is this? Like, <laughs> is, is this <laughs> is this like when people say they're crazy? Like if they say they're crazy and they're not they're crazy, they're not crazy. Yeah, right. Sure. So if they say I'm, I'm a ghost. ghost, then I'm not a ghost. Yeah, yeah. Well, wait. Can ghosts acknowledge that they're ghosts? Right. I don't know. Uh, I'm Fort a ghost. Myers. I'm a ghost. So Fort did they kick him out? Well, let's get into it. Fort Myers, Florida. <laughs> a Fort Myers family had some unexpected company for dinner on Thursday night. Yep. By the way. Fort Myers is where we flew in, like when my wife's uh, stepfather was alive and lived on Sanibel. Like we flew, Fort Myers is a regular. Like, this isn't this is like the, thing, Randy, this isn't never, the swamp. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah. the thing about Randy. I've never said this to you. You know Florida, Florida, so well. kind of well. And I don't at all. Like I don't. Any, at there is all. no have difference. You been to I've, got, I've got Orlando. I've been to Orlando. Orlando okay. and Miami. Yeah. I I can be, I can see a difference. I've been to Disneyland. Okay, Disney but like yeah. Boca World. and yeah. Tampa. Is so, that a different type okay, of person? Okay, so so here's how well I know. Florida. So my wife's stepfather, he and her mother lived yeah. for years on Sanibel Island, which is beautiful. Where so is that? Cool. I don't even know what On side. the West yeah. Coast. So you fly into Fort Myers. So you're on the, the Gulf. 
you're in the Gulf, right? So you fly into Fort Myers and then you drive over a causeway. This is like the hurricane, like knock the causeway yeah, out. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, no. But nice. like you just, you drive over the causeway and you're on this like little island. It's so tropical and actually really cool and really beautiful. And we loved it. But then we'd like drive across the state through like Alligator Alley, which is so don't weird. Don't even know what that means. No, just small, that weird that's, towns that you're like, let's not get. In the middle? In the, the middle. So you know where they are. sell fireworks like up in the, this Wisconsin? Is where, well, I was going to say Indiana. I was like, <laughs> Across the border from this is Illinois, where they Indiana, this is where they the crazy them. Joe's time. Okay, right. That's where they make this the fireworks. They, no, no. they ship to the Midwest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Maybe no I mean, hands like, fireworks. <laughs> do you know the fireworks stand on the edge of the highway in Indiana where you yes. got to yeah, buy yeah. them? Imagine a whole town built off that. That's, that's my the kind of place. Right. Yeah, I like those people. Us. So it is like fascinating. And you, So we drive through and we drove to the other side, which we'd go to Palm Beach and West Palm Beach. Palm Beach is like, this is Atlanta has a place there. It's like super rich. See, like oh, I played Boca once, Boca once, but you're so in and out doing a show. <laughs> Boca's kind of near Miami. I can Boca's that like part. old people. Old town. people, Miami. Yeah. That's like all I know, right? Boca's like in Palm Springs, but in a tropical area. Okay, okay. but like if you think about the name of it, Boca Raton, Mouth, Mouth of, of the, the Rat. All right, okay. Real nasty. Really? Yeah. Yep. Mouth of the Rat. Boca, Boca Raton. Raton. All right. So why would you name something right. that? <laughs> horrible? Like rats weren't even good back then when they were naming <laughs> shit. Like they were ra- worse. Like they rats. were terrible. They yeah. carried the plague. Yeah. Right? So <laughs> Boca de Pepo is mouth of the. That's Boca de Pepo. <laughs> <Buca de Bepo. laughs> <laughs> mouth of the Pepo. And, and that's a, good. A Beppo. <laughs> a Beppo is a nutrient. Wait, where are we? <laughs> uh, we're in Fort Myers. Fort Myers, which I've flown into, and I'm like, it's a very normal place. Okay. So you're saying it's not crazy place, but listen, we're not talking about crazy. Like you wouldn't expect this. It's not Alligator Alley. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. <laughs> Lauren knows it's Florida. It's right. not Lake Okawala. I didn't just right. make it. Anyway, uh, they had unexpected comedy for dinner. This should have been the reboot of Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, I feel like. Right. Yeah. so much better. Right, because yeah. you've got to change it a little bit. Right. Like, let's make it a ghost. A ghost. It's not as crazy to have someone who's but a different I love race him. coming to dinner. Now this guy thinks he's a ghost. That's a better movie. Yeah. Guess who's coming I mean, we've had dinner. stories where people married ghosts, so you Guess could who's do this. barging at oh, dinner. marrying a ghost. Married a ghost. That's a whole thing, too. Married a ghost. He barged into my family. Dinner. Love it for saying. He never. As soon as I saw him barging in, uh, he wanted. He had kind of ideas about the wedding. All right. Uh, the, Mc, the McCaslins were sitting down. Wait, the, who? The McCaslins. 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 You know that, them? That's my grandmother's maiden name. Wow. Come on, hey, Dan. These are your relatives. These this are your people. M C C A S L I N. M C C A S L I N. McCaslins. Uh, Dan, you could be related these to are, these. Two. These, these are, are my, your people. This is kin, Dan. This is kin. They yeah. were <laughs> Dan <laughs> got folk. so excited there. Uh, I'm having a canon event. <laughs> you don't hear that name every day. McCaslin. Yeah. No. Those Scottish Dan's family. family. What uh, was your mom's maiden name? Cara That's Ooh, unbelievable. That's yeah, yeah. Mouth of the yeah. rat. Yeah. Our mom. <laughs> <laughs> Mouth of the bat. Mouth of the bat. <laughs> and this, we are in the Chinese year of the bat. <laughs> oh, that was three years ago. Yeah, that was right. Right. Now we're back. Right. Our mom's uh, maiden name was Apple Bomb. Wow, those are, that's, that's those are great names. maiden names. And okay. it was the basis for a Tribe Called Quest. We need an Apple yeah, Bomb. Yeah, yeah. You, you gotta, gotta put, put me on. on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, McCasins were sitting down for supper when all of a sudden, a random man came barging in the front door. Uh, <laughs> you know he... Oh, I don't know. I'm giving Just him give a... It, give it. Give it. No, you should. You know, you know he only had on a bathing suit, no shoes or anything else, said Brian McCaslin. Wow. <laughs> Brian McCaslin. Of course he didn't have on shoes. Right. If you're barging you're into barging someone's house, in. it's a miracle he had a bathing suit on. <laughs> <laughs> Just be and glad also, he covered his junk. Florida guy barges into house swimming trunks. I'm picturing full on board shorts. Yeah, long, right? long, long. Yeah, he long, hasn't yeah. gone up to the I mean, seven to five guy, inch in scene. This life. is a guy no, that no, would no. wear board shorts to a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> His <laughs> own. His own. He's a ghost. He's a ghost. <laughs> Brian, Brian McCaslin was at the he was table. buried in that. Right, he died in 96. So uh, he's representing that era of clothing. All right. He, uh, Brian McCaslin, was at his table with his two teenage daughters. Who I'm sure were respecting the hell out of him at that yeah. moment. Yeah. Right? Sure. Like, yeah. I'm sure they weren't on their phones Dad, blaming him. Dad, you're Dad, you a friend. Let this guy in. <laughs> don't talk to the Why ghost. Why would you not Dad. double book? Bo- oh my God, Dad. You're talk- so annoying. He's talking to the ghost. Oh my this God. Is so dumb he's and it's so, so dumb. your fault. He, he so thinks that the ghost is going to talk. <laughs> Do something. I'm I just got phone. insight into your dinner time. <laughs> I, <laughs> dude, every, so, God, what? Every teenage dog. What are you doing? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Dad, I love that like, dad's talking. I love that we can't have our phones at the table and dad's talking to <laughs> the ghost. <laughs> or they side with him. Leave him alone, dad. Jesus. Oh my God, he just wants spaghetti. Stop marginalizing. <laughs> dad's fighting the ghost. Stop. The, the bathing. <laughs> Stop marginalizing the ghost. <laughs> 
<laughs> you just don't like, get it, Dad. The ghost <laughs> is fighting him with probably like a, a samurai sword, and she's like in his ear, like, I'm going to Stacy's for dinner. <laughs> for sure. I'm sleeping. <laughs> the dad is like, I'm going to throw him out of there, and the daughters are like, it's them. It's them. <laughs> uh, all right, now here's where Brian starts to give a quote to the news and gets a little over his skis. This is the dad. <laughs> and, and tries to sound more educated than he... You know when people try to sound more educated? Well, yeah. And they'll start... being interviewed for the news. Right, right, right. right, like, right. Well, most big people... words here. It's yeah. like the kid, apparently. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that kid. I do that too. Kid. Well, most people don't have sound bites like locked and loaded yeah. and they don't understand. So, so he started the sound bite and he was like, ooh, I better sound smart right, in the it. middle. Okay. Yeah, okay. As I walked out of the area where we were eating dinner at a lot of this movie. Okay. Dining room. Nice way of not saying TV room. Right. Yeah. <laughs> there was an individual in the living room or front door area. Individual. Area is a big word. For individual, you. I feel like, is really that's individual. really trying to be yeah. like, 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 say person a of interest. Yeah. yeah. Proceeding to advance into my house. Proceeding to advance into my house. He loves CSI. He wow. loves gonna. This guy's a full-on procedure. So the unidentified not how suspects. You tell that story. Yeah. Is he like? Like putting on rubber gloves as he's saying and it. then this yeah. is where he loses steam he was in he was in the house <laughs> that's the end he's that's the like second ran end. out of words by the way all he needed to do was say the second part <laughs> he was in he was that's in the it. house, he was yeah, in the that's, house. that's all that's scary that's enough uh surprised at what he was seeing mccaslin said the encounter became even stranger once the man opened his mouth he started to tell me that he was a ghost mm -hmm. and that i shouldn't be able to see him well, that's on you. Okay. He was yeah. shocked yeah. that I could see him. Yeah. Yeah. He thought he was walking around that nobody could see him. But every once in a while, well, okay, when people see ghosts, well, this is something we know about ghosts. Right. You can see that. A sure. little bit, uh, right? Every once in a while, mean, you have a sighting, and that's what makes it exciting. Like, right. you saw a ghost. Saw a ghost. Obviously, this answers my other question, too, because I didn't know if he, like, broke in and on the spot was like, uh, I'm a ghost. Or, yeah. but he, I think drugs probably. Yeah. He thought he was a ghost before he even He's like, now I'll go in here. Nobody can see yeah. me. Yeah. It's, we've, this is one of the oldest things. There's like levels of being drunk and one of them is invisible where you think, what you're wow. doing, no one else can see. Like right. when you're that drunk, you're like, put that down. I'm like nobody's watching me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like no one can see. Let's, no one can don't, see this. Look, don't look over there. It's like, like the it's like the old. I was that Amazon Women on the Moon or Kentucky Fried movie. The the thing of Ed Bagley Jr. played the son of the Invisible Man, and he took off all the bandages, and he was there, and everyone in the town was like, had to. Basically, go like he was. So he's a naked guy, and he's like moving stuff around. <laughs> he's like, ooh, ooh, and everyone's just sitting there, like, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So he thought he was a ghost before he walked in. Yeah, he thought. Yeah. But so, but he obviously doesn't understand Barged. that ghosts aren't invisible. This yeah. guy's having trouble now sure. with what he's. Doing. So Brian, barely uh, able to believe what he was seeing, tried to get the man back out the front door. He <laughs> came through. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. another quote. I could tell his behavior was not normal. Said McCaslin. Who knows what this person might do if they have a chance to think? What if <laughs> Damn, they have what a chance to not think? They yeah. can do anything. Clearly, they haven't thought to get Say to it this. Again. This is a great. This might who, need to be on a T-shirt. Who, uh, who knows, who knows what, what this person might do if they, they have, have a chance, chance to think? think. So many wrong tenses. So many, yeah, like, everything's wrong. And also, what, I don't need that guy to think at all. I, th no. I think him not thinking is the part I'm scared Barge of. Out. Right. That's what yeah. If he thinks about it, he'd be like, hey, what am I doing yeah. in this room? And I should probably <laughs> put a shirt and some shoes on. And hey, I'm not a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, after causing the scene inside, this guy who claims his name is Kevin. Claims. There's no way to find sure. out, right, Dan? There's That's no way a, we can. Not an know. exciting I mean, fake name. If right. you're gonna make it up, All right. Barnaby. <laughs> Kevin the Let's Ghost. Especially if you're a ghost. Barnaby. <laughs> uh, came uh, running outside to where a crew was cutting down a tree. This is the crazy. What? Wait, hold on. So he came running outside to where a crew was cutting down a tree. I don't want him near there. Yeah. Right. Dinner yeah. time tree cutting crew. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. a late. Okay. He hopped up in one of their trucks and locked himself inside. Okay. He said he doesn't have a home and he's going to make their truck his home. Okay. Said you, well, is that a ghost problem or is that right. Kevin? Right. Problem? I mean, well, you don't have to announce it. You're yeah. a ghost. You could say. Also, if you're see. Brian and Kevin runs out of your house and into somebody else's truck. You're done. That, you're done. Lock the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will go back inside. I won't know what's happening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This right. is your poltergeist. Yeah. yeah, I'm done with. That's and true. the daughters are like, seriously, what are you God, doing? Where is Kevin, Dad? <laughs> I miss Kevin. So, so now you kick Evan. him out. He's homeless. <laughs> he's sad he doesn't have a home. <laughs> 
<laughs> the best is like just silence as they're eating and like <laughs> forks and anything, and then just one of the daughters like, "I miss Kevin." <laughs> <laughs> it was so much more fun with Kevin. I know, there. I know. Life. Guess so remember much Kevin? With Kevin was Life there. was so unpretty. They probably miss mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's mommy? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all wild. McCausen said, "My teenage girls." Oh, this is my joke, of course, is my teenage girls almost even looked up from their phones. That's sure. how wild it was. Yeah. Uh, okay. It took well, that's, some wait, co- he's, he's, I, said, oh, I was like, Brian, that's pretty some, good. That was funny. Yeah, it took some great. coaxing, uh, but the tree trimmers were able to get the man out of the truck where he ran away, still wearing nothing but his bathing suit. Wait, so well, he didn't well, gain clothes. Yeah, you're not going to go into yeah. a tree trimmer truck and suddenly like have oh, like no. an outfit change. <laughs> like it's not going to be. Wait, no rest? No, oh, well, you'll get to it. But oh, Gosling, oh. Uh, called the Lee County Sheriff's Office, filed a report. He now wants deputies to find the man, but not press charges. So this guy doesn't want to press charges. Brian. Brian, uh, McCaslin, your relatives, Dan. Stop. Yeah, they really don't want nice. to press charges. Yeah. So here's how much I was embroiled in Florida. My <laughs> wife's stepfather was the fire commissioner on Sanibel Island, and I met the Lee County commissioner. This guy. I, I don't know if it's this guy, but I met you at the met? time. I met the guy. He was over wow. at their house for Christmas, the Lee County Commissioner. So, like, nice. I'm like two degrees away from calls. the fucking yeah, ghost yeah. here. Let's get, let's find Kevin. Let's find Kevin. <laughs> let's All find right. <laughs> Hopefully, we can find this individual and get them the help they need, which I think is nice. That, Isn't like, that a movie? Yes. we need to talk about We need Kevin. to talk about Kevin. Yeah. yeah. We need yeah. to talk about we Kevin. We do. We need to talk about him at length. Okay. So, so that's what very, about that's Kevin? That's a very kind. That's the kind kindest like reaction to a ghost man who barged into your house, oh. and then we need to find him. We need to find this guy and help. We need him. to get him some help. And we then the article said, him. if you have information that might help investigators, you can submit an anonymous online tip to SWFL Crime Stoppers or call one eight hundred nine eight zero TIPS. I'm really T-I-P-S. amazed by that ending. Right, like that, they that he didn't have vitriol for this guy. Yeah. Is I guess he didn't really the, do anything, but it would be really scary. Oh, I mean, it's so, so scary. <laughs> You're sitting eating dinner Throwing on barges? Like, yeah. Barging into your house? Yeah, he didn't in. just like tiptoe in. Yeah, he, he barged. He cramered his way into that yeah, house. Yeah. Damn. I love it. Well, that's yeah. it. So I love have, that story. We will hope Townies. we'll get a follow up. Townies, if you're in this, if you know what's happening, send a tip <laughs> into 1 800. All right, that's story tips. number one down in the books. Down Lauren down. Lapkus is with us. We're going to find out. Uh, we're going to find out where, how you can follow her on podcast on the podcast that she's doing. Two fantastic ones. We'll do, and we'll let you know what we're doing. It's all on the other side of the breaking stone. People town. We'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Before we get to the podcast, you can support Lauren in and and listen to her because she's wonderful. Uh, we'll tell you a couple things that we have going on. Uh, we're doing uh, our Tagged show in September. So we have three things coming up in September. We're going to be in Ann Arbor at the Ann Arbor Comedy Showcase with our buddy Jeff Tice. I love this club. It's September 8th and 9th, so I will have dropped my daughter off at school, and then two weeks later, I just show up again. Like a he- like helicoptering around the yeah. college. And when's Parents Weekend? Parents Weekend is November 4th. Okay. So you I'll be there. You know the date. He's got it. Oh, he'll yeah. be there. I'll be right yeah. back. I'll be yeah. back again. So this Anyways. club is really special. We, try, we did everything we could and had a fundraiser to try and save this club during the pandemic, and they just got through, and they are surviving and doing well. We've feel so connected to this place it's where we performed when we were in college there wow, so i awesome. awesome. love this place love roger feeney the guy who does it and dan should be there performing this uh, fall as well so we'll be there the eighth and ninth uh and then we're doing our tag it show which is so fun and we've mentioned it many times in the show comedians do their sets jay and i are off to the side writing little joke pitches and then we pitch them our jokes right afterwards that's fun super fun, fun super, super collaborative fun. it's basically what we all do on this podcast the collaboration we do it's it, we bring that to the stage so we're doing it on the 13th at uh the comedy store in the belly room uh and the guests will include uh Many guests who have been on this show, Ian Carmel, Jamie Lee, uh, Melissa, Melissa Villasenor, great, great people will be Eddie on that Pepitone. show. Eddie Pepitone. And then uh, on the 18th at Largo, and that one's going to be a special one, uh, Kumail's going to be on that show, Patton's going to be on that show, looking like maybe Adam Sandler on that show. Wow. It's going to be really fun. Again, people doing and special, and Fortune Feimster is going to be on that show. It's good people all the way around. So again, those we'll put all those up on supersclaris.com, but Largo on the 18th, that and that. Uh, Lauren, let's talk about uh, what you have, the yeah, podcast. Yeah, I have a podcast called Freedom with Scott Ackerman and Paul F. Tompkins, so where funny. we just Legends. tell stories from our lives, and we make fun of each other, and we do bits, and it's 
just it builds upon itself for years mm-hmm. and um, it's the and we riffiest played, bittiest thing it's ever. insane it's and then so we fun. we play a, a game at the end submitted by a listener and so it's either an improv game or some sort of like word game or something where we fuck with each other and it's mm-hmm. always fun Love it. Um, and then I have a show called newcomers with Nicole Byer where we watch things we've never seen that like everyone in the world has seen so oh. we did Star Wars we did Lord of the Rings Fast and the Furious, Tyler Perry movies. Um, we're doing Batman now. All it's, of them in the series? Yeah. Oh, oh my God. We're like 14. I don't know how many there are, but we're doing 14 episodes of Batman. Like, so. how did they get to do that? Like, just be like, let's do another Batman. Like, it's the, the uh, same freaking story. I'll find out because Please I just started. Dig in. I, yeah, I'm, I'm on like uh, the third movie now or something. Is there ever movie. a moment where you're watching, you're like, what am I doing? What oh, am well, I doing? I wonder that all the time with this podcast <laughs> because I'm like, okay, now I have to watch Clone Wars or something. I'm like, I don't know. Like, my homework <laughs> is like three hours of Star Wars. But Batman, I'm enjoying so far, but that's. Yeah, Tim we'll Burton see. did great with it. I love Tim Burton. Yeah. But Tim yeah, Burton we'll see once it gets. The more Heath current, Ledger yeah. Joker. Yeah. Joel Schumacher. Oh my goodness, that is like be fun. that is a masterful. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and the Nolan part stuff. Of is great. And then look, I like Michael Keaton too. I mean, it's I love Michael Keaton. Keaton mm-hmm. as Batman got so much grief. Kilmer as Batman. I, why? Come on. Keaton got a lot of grief because they thought he was being fun. They thought well, he no, was. No, it was before it came out. He would like when uh, he accepted the. This is crazy, but the MTV Movie Awards like were huge. It was him sure. and Jack Nicholson at the MTV Movie yeah. Awards, uh-huh. and he said a thing when he accepted that award. Something like for everybody who thought I was the wrong person for this role, because there was huge backlash against him being cast, because it was like Mr. Mom and uh, yeah, because Beetlejuice like, hadn't come out yet. Oh, okay, so he wasn't yeah. seen that way. Yet. No, okay. but he was a stand-up. Like oh, I don't even Michael know. Michael was, was a stand-up, stand-up in like the late seventies, and he was so That's funny. I mean, a crazy. guy who was Mr. Mom, the the one where night he was, oh, night shift, night shift. I've never seen that. Oh, oh my God, okay. got to put, okay, that the, put that on the list. Night I shift is, him. is is him and Henry, Henry Winkler and Shelley. Long wow, and, oh, fun. But what was crazy about the Henry Winkler role is that at the time when it came out, Happy Days was the biggest thing ever, and he was the Fonz. He yeah. was just cool as hell. And in this movie, Night Shift, he plays a very, probably closer to who Henry Winkler is, like the sweetest, most put upon oh, guy cute. ever. And uh, Michael Keaton is just this out of control, like hilarious. hilarious. It was basically Devil like someone saw Michael Keaton do stand up and they're like, all right, let's just put, let's this just guy put in that in the thing. Love Have that. him. I bet he wrote a bunch of his riffs on the thing too. Yeah. And the, it's just amazing. Anyway. Oh, good. Super fun. Anyway, but there was a lot of grief. He got a lot of grief. I, that. Well, I think he's a great Batman, but I agree. Well, people can you know. hear you talk about yeah, it. No, yeah. People will love to hear my opinions. And Nicole and I often have crazy ones. And we also rate people on a horniness scale. So there's right. a lot going on. The newcomers. Yeah. I love <laughs> it. Newcomers and freedom. Those yeah. are two things you should just subscribe Start subscribing to, right to those. All right. You guys want to do a story? Let's, Let's do, do another do one. Thing. This was sent in by Beck S at Dr. B X underscore. I think that the music? she's a, yeah, no, Dr. Bass? she's a doctor. Yeah. I think oh, unless that's actually, this is Beck, so dumb. The, the musician. Beck. <laughs> <laughs> Aussie it. man. Right. So, so already so you know this drinking in going to be wild. <laughs> yeah. Aussie man whose finger was severed by a crab on a fishing trip. What? Start over. What? <laughs> Aussie man whose finger was severed by a crab on a fishing okay. trip uses the digit as bait no. to catch a fish. No. Let me put that on. How a quickly the are worst? you over the fact that your finger fell off? That you're just like, just mm, like that's it's great gone. now. Mm-hmm. It's gone. I'm like this that was a is, part of you, sir. Yeah, this that's is toxic catch male. <laughs> to me, so I can sick. think of nine reasons why you shouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah. I would, and I, you know that's gonna, he's gonna cast it out there. It's just gonna fall off. Yeah, <laughs> it's done. Also, by the way, that would hurt so fucking bad. I cut my hand like earlier this well, year. Wait, what were you doing? Um, I was baiting a fish. I was washing a fancy knife, and it just like flipped, and I was like blood. Like I literally said blood. Like it was so. I didn't know what to do, and my I could like see things oh, happening oh, Jesus. and it was so crazy and it hurts so bad still to this day if i like hit it against really because like, of the nerve yeah it was like right on a nerve yeah, but if you lose so you know the story when i planned this on the first anniversary of our wedding when i pl- i planned the trip of our first <laughs> anniversary up to napa and we stayed like in napa which is not nice sure. at all yeah. you know like you don't you, know these things when you're trying to plan a trip like also this. when, when you're, you're just a young seven. i was 27 <laughs> yeah. years old i was so dumb and like 
you know, I planned a, a hot air balloon ride that where, you know, the story of the guy who I was, don't. so there's a guy who the pilot of the hot air balloon, his name was Maverick. I'm like, not a good Bad name. Start. Yeah. Bad start. Yeah, you don't I want looked, a guy who's like going to go rogue. Yeah. Right. Well, so then I looked I don't want to get in a hot air balloon. I looked down at, I didn't either, but I looked yeah. down at his hand and he's missing like two and a half fingers. And I was like, from pulling that thing. I don't know. I'm like, he's either, he's either really takes a lot of chances that he yeah. shouldn't, or he's really unlucky either yeah. way. That's bad for us. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and then of course we were supposed to go one mile up, one mile over and one mile down. We went one mile up and then Maverick radios down to the van, which has all of our stuff underneath. And it's like, I got a wind. I'm going with it. We go 14 miles in another direction I into hate, another valley. Hate. That's so long. <laughs> so weird. By the way, why is it we're going now, for 14 miles? And, that, miles. and he's radioing <laughs> down to the van to said, and we're in the, I mean, we're all in the basket. It's like me yeah. and my wife and are a handful scared? of other people. Yeah. We're like, what are we, how are we going to land this thing? Where are we going? Cause there's a designated spot to land it. And he's, he's like, knock on doors and see if we can land on people's houses. He's radioing down to the van. And then he's like, I see an area between a house on a farm between a house and the hillside. I'm going to try and put it down. And as we're coming down, he's Too like, okay, hot. when the basket hits, everyone jump. I'm <gasps> like, what? Jump. Yeah, elevator trick. <laughs> right. <the> elevator. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody jump. That's but like, crazy. So, but when you see some, my point being, when you see someone who is like missing fingers, you got to ask yourself, was what? that an what accident? What did he do? I did one really bad. I just not thinking I had, I was, I had a, I was peeling a lot of like mm -hmm. carrots mm. and I Jeez. just was like, Oh, let me get that carrot. And I just ran my own right finger along the, the blade. And oh, I looked, God. I looked at myself and I'm like, what did I Damn. just do? Dude, like in my mind, so I was on the bad. backside of it. Oh. Like I just yeah, wasn't yeah, like, yeah. you could even get, feel the hurt. You yeah. were in the shock Oh, I watched moment. it. Yeah. I watched yeah. it just split. Yeah. And then uh, one time I had a buddy who we were up at the cabin and he was trying you already know where this is going to go. He was trying to separate frozen patties oh, with God. a knife. Nope. God. Nope. Nope. I know. Nope. And I, Damn. I, I, you do that with a screwdriver. I, it was like in <laughs> slow motion. I was like, I tried to tell him to stop. People no. just run it under the sink. Yeah. Yeah. Just let it, just let under it the water. Thaw. Just let it, yes. let it thaw. You always do this. You have both your hands right there and you're trying with a knife oh. to try and like. So right down the center of his hand. Oh so my stupid. Jeez. So we're just going to throw this on the hook and just. Okay. So it. his finger came off and within moments he's yeah, but it fine came off. and he's just. It came off for from a purposes. crab, which is probably him fucking with a crab. Yeah, messing so with a, a crab. crab bit it off. A keen fisherman off. recounted yeah. a tale, not for the squeamish, after he revealed he used his own severed finger as bait after a crab snipped it off. But I'm sorry, you still have time to save it. Right. Like, right. You could keep Put that. Put it on this ice. Is get how, it back. So this it back is on. how yeah. dumb people flex. I can't believe Drunk, it. Drunk, dumb people. So the man, wild. known only as Chris from Townsville, yeah, don't give him a last name. <laughs> no, that's how he likes to be yeah. introduced. Chris Hi, from I'm Chris from Townsville. Uh, Chris it's the John from Cincinnati. Hi, I'm Chris people. from Townsville. I like video games, and I don't like girls with long hair. <laughs> <laughs> He's on next. Okay. I don't know why it's in my head. So give me a high next? five. Give me a high four and a half. Next was You guys really probably missed rude, next, actually. right? Do you know next? They don't yeah. know next. Next next is a, next, would, next is I, like that a would be the show bottom barrel. Where you get five guys, and you go, next. And you're like, sick of one. <laughs> and all the guys are the worst. And they're all the worst. The worst. Next. Oh, MTV trash. And Next. it's all double yeah. entendres and bad puns. Yeah. It was it, the beginning of, of uh, Tinder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swipe, swipe right. Swipe right. Yeah, in yeah. real life. And then they all had to hang out on the bus. And How much you would time see these men like usually... try to cover up their insecurities by being like, I'm going to I'm gonna make her next to me. It's yeah. like, you're just hurting. That's not you're good. just hurting. I'm going to make her next to me. I'm going to make her next to me. <laughs> yeah. How about Room Raiders, though? Remember Room, that one? Silent they Library. They would run the black light over that <laughs> side. Yeah. Silent Library is still one of the funniest What's that? Shows. They had you to be silent and you something crazy You would go into a library and they would have people, a group of friends sitting at a table and they would have somebody do, like, you would have to, like, hit a mousetrap or something, but you couldn't make any noise. Oh. And if you would get money if you stayed below a certain, like, noise <laughs> decibel. decibel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Silent Library is wildly hilarious. Wow. So, no, when we were in college, we had a theory. Our friend had a theory. Our friend Mark had a theory that, like, when you're in the law library. You can make a really loud noise as long as it's super short. short. <laughs> and nobody will do anything. So, so he like would walk in fart. and sit down to you next to you and be like, Bap! 
<laughs> and no, <laughs> no one would do anything. That's a fun game. But that if you were like, hey, game. people would be like, yeah. get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. It's a library. Oh. <laughs> it's not, everything's cool. But no that. one cares that you did that. Like, <laughs> that is cool. weird. It's, it's weird. weird. Did you play the penis game growing up? Yes. Ryan Sickler. Ryan Sickler never knew about this. Did you guys play the penis game? No. Play it. No. Oh, my God. He'll be in class, like in class, in high school, and some of you just go, penis. <laughs> and then someone else would have to say it louder, louder. than the yeah. person before them. And so you'd get to a point where people would be like, Peter! <laughs> <laughs> God, it was so funny. So it bad. is funny. It is wildly funny. That's then it becomes game. how quickly you say yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and how much you can make it sound like something else. <laughs> That's it. The man known only as Chris from Townsville in far north Queensland <laughs> called into Triple M's The Rush Hour with A.B. and Elliot. No, Triple God. M's The Rush Hour with, with A.B. and Elliot. Elliot. Okay. Which, that's... That's the their night, like a drive waiting rating show, yeah. radio yeah. show. Yeah. It was a long weekend fishing trip, and we'd been out for beers for a while, and we decided to drop the crab pots out, he told the captivated hosts. <laughs> the angler explained <laughs> that he and his mates returned to camp and had a few more beers before checking the pots after a few hours. Important mm-hmm. detail. I pulled up one and grabbed one of the crabs, and he bit me on my left pointing finger. He you mean your finger. index finger? Yes. My pointing finger. My left it's the one I used finger. to point. He points Maybe uses <laughs> this one. Yeah, my pointing finger. Listen, yeah. you bitches. <laughs> Chris is like, I'm still drunk How now. weird is this, This Dan? is my this pointing. Is how you point? This, uh, this my is car's odd. right over there. <laughs> you don't talk to me that way. You don't do I it. I pick which finger I point with. <laughs> Not you. You something, <laughs> mister. <laughs> what? It's so weird. It doesn't do anything. No. <laughs> yeah. It's that like, would be wild if you start. I was over here. Okay. Well, you go that way. He claimed he didn't feel anything amiss, but when he looked down, about half his finger was on the floor of the boat. Oh half? The boys didn't decided. Didn't feel anything amiss. The boys decided we might call it quits and head you home, and I said, no, we've traveled all this way, no, so we ended up staying and fishing the next day. Oh my the next God. day? The next day. Days are passing. I think that might be bad. You're like, Jesus. dude, you're, you're really bumming a lot of us out. You're infected. <laughs> yeah. You're in pain. Yes. You're pretending it's fine. Yes. Remarkably unconcerned about reattaching his finger, the... Larrikin? I don't know what that, that's awesome. Probably where he's from. Yeah. Uh, but it's not even capitalized. Explained he was trying to be funny when he instead attached it to his line and threw it overboard. He's hilarious. <laughs> that he's is kind of funny. Trying to be funny. <laughs> There's like, so, and that's, then the next yeah. line should be like, he's not a comedian. Yeah. He was trying to be funny. <laughs> he ended up catching a how many pound golden Trevally? Trevally? I have no idea. I don't, I don't know. know. They look like this. He uh, caught like a big fish? The, they look like that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Beautiful. Well, I've zoomed in, it's but like finding there's no perspective it's on a, for you. It's a stunning fish. Very pretty That's fish. It's probably how many like pounds? protected. You're with probably his not finger, allowed to catch it. With his yeah, finger, right. how many pounds of that fish, a golden trebly, trebly? I don't know, people I tried. Okay. What do you think? I'm going to say, I don't know how much a fish weighs. I don't know what's normal. I mean, I'm going to go with 11. 11 pounds. Three pounds. Three. Two pounds. Two pounds. I ended up catching a 25 pound gold. Oh my traveling. God. That is so That's big, so you guys. Big and it's neon and it's so That's pretty. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. Wow. And it had a finger inside it. <laughs> <laughs> it was the biggest fish we caught that weekend, so I had bragging rights. Okay. Well, okay. You yeah. lost bragging rights when you threw your finger in the ocean. That's right. You're, you're stupid. You're I dumb. think they should then send the fish away, stuff it, and he should replace his finger with a fin. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. like have one little yeah. fin. This is also how I you have bad friends. They should have been like, we're done. They let yeah. him hang out. We're yeah, done. It's crazy. Turn if I had around. a friend who lost half, half a finger, finger in any scenario. Trips over. Trips There's over. There's no trips part of me that's like, we came a long way. Right. I'd like to stay here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, <laughs> Our drunkest guy takes you to urgent care and you spend the night and you yeah, deal yeah. with the closest guy. Yeah. yeah. Let that guy sober him up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. Then, and then you just go. That's the night. You bring yeah. 10 beers yeah. and, and get him <sighs> to attach the finger. And again. that's a story, too. That's a great story. You don't need the fish. Then he yeah. went back out the next day and <laughs> yeah. he got his. Well, but, or toe. like, or have him make it like a trick finger. So, like, at, yeah. at parties, you can be like, boop, and take it <laughs> off and put it on somewhere and bring it back on again. Like, yes. Yeah. Or donate it to a bar. And the, then they the put it, you know the toe you kiss the she toe. She doesn't know. I don't know what the fuck you're <laughs> so talking about. So there's a petrified in Yukon, the up in the Yukon this is in a bar. Uh, the Jason Manzucas episode. Oh, this is just episode. one place. Okay, yeah. this is this like is a common real. thing. Okay, this, is, this, this came up five years ago with okay. Jason Manzucas. Five, more than that. 2017, six, yes. six years ago. Right? There's a toe. There's a, there's a drink in Yukon at this bar. It's called the severed toe shot or whatever. And they kiss actually the toe. They kiss have the toe. a toe and they put it in there. You drink it and then you kiss the toe when it. 
hits your lips and put it back and down. And it's real? It's yes. Some people why, have accidentally why? swallowed it. They were missing one. <laughs> they were missing one, and so people donated other ones. Jason didn't donated. handle this story very well. Donated. None Don of us did. So I, I'm saying, like, you could donate it to your local bar and be like, kiss yeah. the finger. It's better yeah. than, a, honestly, it's better than a toe. There's it something is, so, so gross about a toe. Thank you. Thank <laughs> just you. the idea of toes. Yeah, I just hate the it. idea of toes. I, yes. just, especially separated from the rest. Separated. Yes. Not Severed toes. Yes. Mm. Uh, all right, that's story number two, my friend. What do you friends. get if you kiss the toe? You get a prize? Uh, no, no. Oh, I think they gave you. No. Probably a shirt. They probably, I probably no a shirt. I, I think you should get a flip in the flop. Yukon or whatever. Yeah. yeah. You should get a, like a like a golden flip yeah. flop. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. For COVID stuff. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, I know we kind of. So this, I don't, I don't know why this show is like very animal oriented. I believe my third story is about a, uh, a guy. This again is in Florida. And it just is like. How stupid can you be related to animals outside your door? Pretty stupid. Very stupid. It's mm. Dumb People Town. Lauren Lapkus is with us. We'll find out what Dan's got going on right after this break. Stick around. Make a sound. There's more Dumb People Town. Townies, we want to tell you about our sponsor, Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the most fun that we've had winning money up to 25 times our money this football season. All you have to do is select two or more players, pick more or less the projected stats, and place your entry. It's really fun to test our skills on Prize Picks this football season. It's the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. If you have skills, you can turn $10 into 250 bucks with just a few taps. Jay? I love it because I don't know about you guys, but every year... Well, no, because I'm not as bad as you. In my fantasy <laughs> league about four weeks in i'm like you're well done. this season's over right if you're playing in a you're mad at kirk you're cousins just, yeah you're in a giant <laughs> ship titanic a fantasy titanic that's just going down and yeah, you're like second half of the you movie. don't even want to watch football for the next day well with prize picks it makes those weeks after your titanic ship goes down fun because so, you can make daily picks and it's so great i mean you can make the picks of like will aaron Rodgers throw three touchdowns like it, I feel now like, all of a sudden a Jets game matters to you. Right. Right. It's and that's usually only reserved for sad people. That's yeah. right. Saquon Barkley, could he get 60 yards rushing? Right. It's all, first of all, they place the things and you, you really have to think about it, mm -hmm. but it is really fun because now you're watching the games. You're, you're so invested in these games. games that normally don't matter to you and it makes the NFL super fun in those later weeks when your other long fantasy team is dying. So here's what we're going to do because you're listening you're a DPT fan, you're a townie, here's what you do. You go to prizepicks.com slash DPT Use the code DPT for a first deposit match up to $100. Nice. How about it? Prizepicks.com slash DPT. Use the code DPT for a first deposit match up to $100. Prize picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. Stick around, make a sound. There's more Dumb People Town. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Before I jump in and take us home in the last story, Daniel, let people know where they can oh see you live. And you had a lot of good stuff. Yeah, on. between like. September 21st and November 11th, I'm doing somewhere between like 20 and 25 shows. Townies, the most fun thing, if you come out to a show, I'm going to open them by saying uh, any townies here have a headline they want to read, and we will goof around a little bit before I bring out the host and kick the show off in earnest. I love it. Um, but I just locked in, uh, remember our buddy uh, Hayes per Permer? Yes. He, yes, has, yes, yes. he has a theater, a small little theater in Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm fun. playing there for the first time. Awesome. I believe that that's Saturday, October 14th. It's one of their first shows they're ever going to do. So I have never headlined Raleigh, and I can't wait to Great come town. and do shows there. But go to DanielVanKirk.com. I'm going to be all over the Midwest and the South, all leading up to 11-11, my special taping and album recording Thanks. at the Lincoln Lodge wow. in oh, Chicago, yay. Illinois. Yay. Old place I used yeah. for my oh, really? Go to, go to DanielVanKirk. Beautiful place. I love Com uh, link should be up there. If they're not, if they're not, they will be soon. It's okay. Hanging from the rafters at that show. I yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah. Two that awesome. night or one. Uh, I'm doing two. Okay, I'm doing two. Yeah. So let's fill those shows. I yeah. mean, this is. I your... would love it. They actually sent us an email last week saying it looks like it's going to sell out. Yes. So based on where we're at right now, so if you want to come out to those shows, get your tickets now. Yeah, and there will be some sort of uh, unofficial after party. Eleven Eleven is a Saturday. Is it is right? a Saturday. All right, so make a weekend yeah. of it. If you're yeah. nearby, you're in Wisconsin, or you're yeah. in nearby. Come on down. Come on down. Guess where I'm at the night before. Yeah. Rochelle, Illinois. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm doing it. my hometown on Friday Are you Friday doing a night. show? Yeah, I'm doing a show on Friday oh, night. Where? I love it. Yeah, at, uh, it's, it's called Fat Cats. It's my buddy's it bar. Yeah, He's got like a banquet. Is. But they only, it, only, it, it only seats like 100 people. And the last time I did Rochelle, I think we sold like 347. Um, 
but I said, hey, I want to do it at my buddy's place. Give him the business. So we might do two shows, but should. if might anybody wants to make shows. a weekend out of it. Yeah. Might do four. Come to Fat Cats. Fat you can celebrate your wedding or your divorce. <laughs> on the tent. All the way down in Fat Cats. Hey, she's not going to know you're there. <laughs> All right. Uh, you guys ready? For yeah. <laughs> Fat Cats. Nobody told her you're going to be there. Fat Cats. Fat we'll keep it a secret. Hey, All right. Fat Cats. We do, do, she thinks you're down. <laughs> Fat Cats. You clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> Bad cats. Your aunt has no idea. Look, you're gonna have fun. You're gonna Your learn aunt how to dance. No <laughs> I don't know Your why. Aunt. All right. So this next story is sent in by our good friend Jake Roney at Jake Roney. What up, Jake? This is a story of just what in the f are you doing and why are you doing this again? It. I when you put yourself show. in the position right. of the people, there's no way you'd make I any of their I love this decisions. show because there is a moment in every single... It's like when you're watching football. If you're watching like the watching Patrick Mahomes, you're watching the Kansas City Chiefs, sure. and you're like, he's got to make a play right here. If I they're going to win this that. game, you say this all the time. <laughs> so you he's got to make yeah, a play. Why isn't he making but a play? But like, lie. something's yeah. got to happen. Now, this story came by way of the New York Post, so trigger warning, okay? okay. There will be there, lots of be dumb There'll be so many puns. dumb puns, you're going to want to punch someone in the face. So just hold whatever you do. There's like, like a moment where I'm reading the New York Post, and I'm like, is Rudy Giuliani writing this? <laughs> <laughs> does, he, is he, does he just write all the articles? Do you think people who are like good at puns get excited to like apply there yeah, like, maybe. I could really write this look like, at yes. all the puns that all right okay. so the, and the other thing about this story is in a regular world like before we knew Florida was as crazy as it was this would be the craziest story that anybody has ever told someone but just because it's Florida you're like yeah whatever yeah. it's like so ho hum we've normalized this story so just keep that in mind <laughs> okay here we go <laughs> it was a very unwelcome house call that's no how way. they start sure <laughs> enough in the post shut up a florida <laughs> right <laughs> you want a bunch like, of what is it a florida man was attacked by an alligator after opening his front door saturday night according to the report now if you just open the door and an alligator and you didn't see the alligator Fine. Yeah. I feel bad for this mm -hmm. guy. Yeah. Or but it's like, there's some motion on the ring. Yeah. Go get it. Yeah. Right? What, Go what, get wait, it. what's the old SNL <laughs> sketch, though? The one with Land the shark. Shark. Land shark. Land shark. Yeah. Yeah. Chase. <laughs> Daytona Beach resident Scott Hollingsworth. This guy. Yeah. Last name makes him seem like British. Yeah. Aristocracy. <laughs> <laughs> like part of He's the ruling some, class. Yeah. Sometimes He's wearing just on a, a person's tie. name, yeah. you can tell they weren't born in Florida. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From the house of Hollingsworth. Hollingsworth. Like Hollingsworth, not but Hollingshead is yeah. like an air we're we're taking the kids up to Hollingshead this yeah. weekend. All right. Hollingsworth. So Scott Hollingsworth told W E S H <laughs> that he heard a noise outside his home at what time? Mm. Three AM. 3 a.m.? Okay, what do you think, Are you Dan? a Matchbox 20 song? Uh, <laughs> I'm well, he must have been lonely. I'm sure he was. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Yeah, okay. Jay, what right during his show. Say 11.30 p.m. Okay, get your answers in, Townies, because this was around. I love they say it's around, and, yeah, then, and then they give, give you an exact, exact 9.42 p.m. Just around. It was actually 9.48, but yeah. it was around <laughs> 9.42. We don't want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> what if it was 9.45? We don't want to make anyone What if it was 9.45, and they're like... It was it around 9.42. We just like to keep it interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone always says 9.45, 9.30. It's like, it was around 9.42. <laughs> it had recently been. Right. No yeah. one can say that it, it's 9.45. It's yeah. not around 9.42. <laughs> Am I wrong? It's like when you realize you've written just too many times in like a message. <laughs> <laughs> like, just, try, it's too chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It, it, just I'm just stop. wondering if you're going to Yeah, I'm, I'm just wondering just if it's just not it's too just big of a deal. <laughs> that just maybe we... We should just stop. Um... Wait, what, is it? A, does it so say there was a knock or any noise? No, he heard a noise outside his home around 942. And when he stepped outside, quote, something grabbed me on the leg, started shaking violently. If you the are mouth, in, right? if you are in Florida and you hear a noise, you don't Look just the open. Window. Thank you. You don't just open, open the door. door. Anywhere, Anywhere you live. Agreed. I'd like just peek. Yeah. Get well, a so, peek. So, Hello? Yeah. What, yeah. What if you're up in Northern California or in Tahoe and you hear a noise? That could be a bear. 100%. I mean, if I hear a noise in LA, I don't want to just open no, it and thank see. You. If I hear a knock, I'm not just opening it. No need no, to be look careful. Look on the camera and see right. what's going on. That's just right. walk yeah. towards the loud noise yeah. is what I say. Let me open That's the door and see what's going on out here. So that... Now you're like, I feel bad for this guy. He opened up the door but and also, got to. So I feel like the part where he said something grabbed my leg and was shaking. I'm like, 
there's not that long where you're going, something's doing it. Like it's like, <laughs> it's yeah. like instantaneous. They're like an alligator. Like it's huge. You something's know. going on. But it's like Dan, when he scraped his finger on the thing, he had to like, like, be like what? Something that must have happened. was weird. <laughs> this is an uh, intruder. This so is now I, this is the point where we will all turn on this guy. He added that he didn't turn on a light. I so knew he didn't it. get a good look at the didn't assailant. Didn't get a good look. But told the station he initially thought it was a dog. He, Does that turn make it on better? the light. I'm sorry. If you're gonna go outside, how to, dark is it? Uh, it's dark. <laughs> like, how dark is well, it? Let's go to There's our. There's a very scaly dog <laughs> yeah. biting my leg. Let's it's go to our Florida correspondent, long. Randy. How dark is it in that area? <laughs> it is so dark. It like, is so dark. No lights at all. <laughs> all right, okay. So he, why would you not turn on a light? Not one. You hear a noise mm-hmm. so outside the your door. First step is light. Light on, if peek the out the on. window. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on? Give it like a, yeah. Who is this? <laughs> a grown man in here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dan, that's Dan and a That's yeah. nice that you have that tool. I don't have that tool. Dan, yeah. It's all it's Midwest. Yeah, but, but no, I, I can't say that. I'm like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to get me. Well, I did a bit in my first yeah, album yeah. about what happens to people when you're in the public bathroom. Uh, and yet, that's exactly what I yeah, said. Yeah, There's yeah. a man in here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> grown go, man. Go away now. A man with issues in here. It's I'm, me. <laughs> I'm in here now. <laughs> so he then I forgot about that bit. That he then bit. said, "I stepped back and closed the door." So he got his leg out of the jaws of a wow. an alligator. Yeah. And then did he go back out again and see if it was still there? Guys, I don't want to talk like I'm a Florida expert, but yeah. any body of water or anything you're near, you have to assume. Uh, we were we were riding our bikes down through this little pathway behind through a neighborhood and in the back i looked and i saw two alligators no. like outside of a lake area right fighting there. i don't want to no, play just with drunk. that yeah. i don't like that tempting an alligator with my bicycle riding by <laughs> i love that he's like and then i step back inside and then what'd you do like watch three more hours of csi yeah. made he a fished, dagwood he sandwich yeah he just chopped his leg off and <laughs> fished with it fish with looked the leg out, he said he looked down and he saw he had quote a large gash on the side of his leg so still think it's a dog right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> like you he didn't see what it was I even think describing he looked down and it's like what that's just you don't have to say that you right. look, he had a huge gash yeah, he saw he had a huge gash right. yeah. he looked down and noticed on his leg there was a line of blood related to a gash like it's just a yeah, way to draw it out yeah. overwritten yeah he way over- scared the shit out of the alligator Oh, yeah, I am concerned. Yeah. So here's the thing we need about to find this the guy. alligator and get it help. <laughs> so do you, I mean, this this getting having a huge gash from an alligator is going to screw up anybody's. That's, that could get to the bone. Imagine yes. what it's this guy. He I mean, was a fancy home. knife has ruined her hand. I know. I know. I honestly, it hurts right now. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> six it hurts ago. to talk Eight about ago. it. It hurts. To, when I talk about it, it goes. <laughs> did you have to get <laughs> stitches? I did. Yeah, it was crazy. That's always a decision too. Yeah. You're like, am I going to go to urgent I, care? I right had to. Oh, it was crazy. Oh my god. You said you. Open. It was you saw yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, you do not want to look yeah. at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And actually, just as a sort of story to warn people, my husband like wrapped it really tightly, and then we like got to the place, and then they're like, "It's wrapped so tightly that you could have lost your finger." Yeah, because you you're, you're stopping you're off. Cutting and I off didn't the know that. I wasn't thinking about that. I was just more like, "We did oh, it." Let's but go. you still yeah. hold that against your husband in yeah. other arguments. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. I, I hope. could have lost. But that is. What, I, I did the same. That it was when you were like, "Oh, I got to apply pressure." Apply pressure. But I think they also like to tell you what could have happened. They're like, "Yeah." <laughs> you could have lost that finger if you, you're lost, so stupid. I'm like, lost all that right. That alligator could have bitten both feet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, if I didn't wrap it up, what would have happened then? It could have bled out and died yes. in the car. Well, the homeowner who planned to attend this week's bike week. The f- what is bike, bike week? Just, just throw that in there with no explanation. <laughs> yeah. Wait, bike week. Planned you know, on going to bike week. You know, bike week, What's guys. bike week? What, what do you is do there? the actual fuck gotta be is motorcycle. bike week? What it, oh. it feels like something for 11-year-olds, though, yeah. right? Yeah. You, you, you bring the kids down to bike week? Yeah. Yeah, the tassels. <laughs> Dirt bikes. Huffy Con. Huffy Con. Huffy. <laughs> just a bunch of burned out kids on you. Diamondback <laughs> Harry Larry's. Instead, the guy required surgery for his injury and told WESA. Surgery? He told everything. everything's going well. But he probably won't be biking anytime soon, which leads me to believe it is b- pedaling on a bike. Yeah. But also, how about I probably won't be opening the door to noises anytime yeah. soon? Yeah, probably. Take the right lesson out of that. He's no, like, he I can't not. go to bike week. Yeah, there yeah. goes bike week. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. The alligator was outside your door. <laughs> Thanks a lot, world. Right. No, you now I can't this. go to bike week. <laughs> yeah, you better find out what's outside your door if you if you want to go to that if bike you week. You want to go to bike week. This should be an ad for ring cameras. That's yeah. what this should be. Yeah. Period. Or windows. Or windows. Yeah, just, Thank you. Seriously, a window. So we're going to end it on. I mean, it's just so stupid. We're going to end okay. it on this. Okay. 
how big so the authorities came and they found oh they did they found the alligator lurking outside of oh. the outside of the area how, how big, big is this alligator who he thought, thought was a dog because okay, this is gonna now yeah. make so we already don't like him he <laughs> wanted to go to bike week and like this that's guy. the thing about him is that he was <laughs> mad, him down. he's mad that he l- l- mad that he's missing bike week number one that he even attends bike week yeah. makes me not like him but yeah, he's mad that he's not gonna go to bike week mm-hmm. okay. number two he hears a noise goes outside without turning a light on without looking at it number three thinks it's a dog because he hoped someone else was on the other side of yeah. that yeah, yeah 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 he yeah. hoped she came back uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> barbara no, <Yeah>. so, <laughs> she's wanted... out there making a noise <laughs> she, she, she wants ex, me to find her yeah. my ex-wife is rustling in the bushes. wait till i tell her that i found she me she always does this after we have a fight that's so her that was our thing that was, she did that yeah that's, that's her mating she call. loves to rustle <laughs> she likes to I get low her out there. all right so how big was this thing Alligator dog? Alligator dog. Is it measured in feet? Oh, it's measured in feet. Okay. I'll go first. Yeah. Yeah. Seven feet. Seven feet. All right. That's huge. But that's big, I was going like, to go bigger, but now I'm doubting myself. You can do whatever you want. No, but oh. tail, add, they add the okay. length of the tail. Go it with your gut. I length. think yeah. it's the same thing, I, the weight I gave to the fish, but 11 feet. 11 feet. Yeah. What do you think, Oh, my Jay? God, I was going to say 11. Uh, how about nine feet? Nine feet. Okay. It's One four. of you is exactly right. What? Oh, shit. Oh. what now we get to play the game. He nine? said seven. Okay. Seven. Seven. Okay. seven. Okay. 11. nine. Now, you can stay where you're at, or you can jump to a different one. It's so fun. Okay, I want to do nine. You can do nine. I'm going to jump to 11 no! because that's what I wanted okay, to say. Sticking with seven. Sticking okay. with seven. Right, okay. We, sli- we switched. Get your answers in, Townies, okay. because the alligator that was found lurking outside of this man's door that he thought was a dog because he didn't turn a light on and it grabbed his leg and it bit him and now he can't go to bike week <laughs> is nine feet. Oh! Oh! Answer. So good. What a great way to end that's a fantastic huge, episode. That is enormous. Too big to be a that dog. Is, no, that's, that's a big dog. That's a big that dog. A and I don't think dog. they make great sounds Dane. like dogs. No, and I don't think it would not. feel like a dog. Oh, All right. right. The there you the go. Job. Don't be stupid. Turn the light on, everybody. We love you so much. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to go see Dan uh, at all of his shows Please and definitely do. on 11 11. Yeah, bring, bring a headline. See subscribe. us in Ann Arbor. You're going to see us when we do the tag it shows. You're going to subscribe and listen to Freedom and the Newcomers. Those are two new podcasts in your queue. Put it love you guys. Thanks. thanks, sir. Uh, thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me. It's so fun. And uh, oh shit, we got to get back to work. So we'll see ya. Stick around, make a sound. There's more dumb people town.